Hey guys, it's Abyss Raider here, and today I'm going to be giving, I'll be showing you how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.7.10. Someone requested that I asked that, uh, someone requested that I made a tutorial. So, why not? I figured, why not? I want to help you guys, and I feel like it, it would help me be able to branch out to more people with the tutorial able to let me help my viewers which don't also you can ask me anything if you need help with something don't you can ask me I want to help you these guys as much as possible and so yeah so let's just get into it so first off what you need to do is go to these three sites I'll put the links in the description and here you have to download Optifine. What we're going to be downloading is this one right here. This Optifine right here. This one. Optifine 1.7.10 HDU A4. Then when we go, we also have to download the shaders. So you go right here to 1.7.10. The non Forge version. We're not using Forge this time. So you download this. Just in case. I'm not sure if I downloaded the right one before. And you go here, and this is where you download the shaders. You could use any shaders whatsoever. For this, it should work for any shaders, but someone requested I help them with this one. But with this one, it requires a little bit more. My, like right now, I will be having installed these three ones right here. Just a little bit, show off the three of them. My, my preference is the Ultra Motion Blur. That's my favorite. I kind of customized it a bit, increased the wave size for me personally when I personally record, and I increased like some of the effects. Like I have the volumetric clouds and etc. But I'm just gonna use the default ones just to help you with the tutorial. So now that I got this, download that. Go here. That I had the wrong one. All right. So first off, what you need to do is you have to go right here. Once you install the Optifine 1.7.10 HD UA4 jar, double click it, install, and then once it says it's installed, it's for it's done. That's all you have to do. And once it's installed, what Optifine does basically it. It just basically lets your Minecraft run faster and gives you more customization to the graphics and performance. And it helps a lot, trust me. And then what you need to do next, you double click the shaders mod installer. You click yes. And then you click okay, and it's done. So now what you have to do is code run. And you do percent, percent, ah, percent app data percent press ok or dot minecraft and you have to be in this folder right here see I have a bunch of folders in here from mods and stuff don't mind all that stuff what's most important right now is for you to do this go to right click go to new folder and name this folder shader packs and what I want you guys to do or what you need to do is to open that up and drag your shader packs right into the shader packs folder and that should be done and now that that's done you should have this right here you should be you should have gotten this new profile called 1.7.10 Optifine shaders mod for that now all you have to do is press play Let it run Mojang All right, here's my my resource pack that I've been using lately go into here my world the tutorial world And as oop and here you go. 
See, without shaders, since it automatically went to shaders, this is what it looks like without shaders, see? It's like, ah, uh, it's okay, decent, still looks like the boring old Minecraft, which is not very boring in my opinion. Looks okay, it's, uh, whatever, what do you want to call it? But, once you install opt the shaders, see? You should have these three listed. See, the adult, this, alright, so let's go from the ultra first. Ultra basically adds the lighting, everything. So you have the standard and light on the other, sp on the, of uh, one side uh, for the shaders, the shader, the shader, the Seuss. And the, this one just adds everything that there is to the shader, which is really nice. It adds the water waves, the reflections, it adds the sun, the clouds, and all of that. And it basically is just the def like the preferred one for most people. In my opinion, most people use this. But me personally, I like to use this one, which is the motion blur. It makes it look a lot it makes it look move like a lot faster. Like look at that. Look at that. It makes me like makes it looks more fluid movement in my opinion. It makes it look a lot nicer. I prefer ultra motion blur because it makes it look nicer in my opinion. But yeah, get out of my way, sheep. But um, yeah. So look at that. But some people might prefer to use this one, which is the ultra depth of field, which I personally don't like because the depth of field is too strong in my opinion, and and I just don't like it. Cause look, see those sheep right there. See the sheep? See the sheep right there? Now if I look here, it basically zooms in here where I'm looking, it makes it clear, but makes it blurred out all the other areas. In my opinion, it looks really nice for like screenshots purposes, but when you're playing like survival and like PvP servers and stuff like that, I wouldn't suggest it because it can it gets a little crazy because it constantly like it constantly changes goes back and forth back and forth whenever you're moving and it just goes too drastic and it's too drastic in my opinion and it like it's just too strong and it's just not worth it like it looks nice for screenshots don't get me wrong like I would use this for screenshots but I don't want to use this for like s survival purposes unless I can get it to lighten it a bit which I'm trying to find a way to do. But, I ho also, I will leave the link for this resource pack in the description. It has custom nav meshes so that it looks more realistic, has more depth into it. Like, look at that. It looks bumpy. See the little bumps right there? It looks really good. The waving grass, the trees over there. Like, look at this. It's amazing. Let's put mine on. And, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment. I want to hear your opinion on, I want to hear your opinion on my channel. Come on, guys, leave an opinion. What do you think of my skin? Come on, guys, let me know. I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Alright. <laughs> that was stupid. But. Please guys. I want to know what you guys think of my channel. What should I improve on? What should I get rid of? What should I add? Every day I'm. Most of my time I'm on my on my computer is spending time trying to improve my channel in my videos. Like quality wise with audio and video. And. I just hope it's been put to good use. And I think that's enough said. And peace out. See you guys. Bye. Cool.